Joining us now, Sahak Manwellian, head of equity trading at Wedbush, and Paul Hickey, the co-founder of Bespoke Investment Group. Welcome to you both. Sahak, you're here on set. I'm going to start with you. Consolidation and digestion is how one of our market guests put it yesterday. How do you, how do you see uh, what, what's been happening uh, in the markets this week? Yeah, a very big, uh, robust rally last week. This week, we've seen some tapering off, some consolidation, a little bit of maybe a little bit of a retracement. But but really, the underlying technical backdrop to stocks right here uh, in pretty good footing. We've had very strong upside momentum. You can take a look at the 14 day RSI oscillator. Um, stocks want to go higher and things feel feel OK, I think, in, in terms of the uh, technical backdrop here. And you couple so that with overbought. some Overbought in the short term last week. We were overbought in the short term last week. The 14-day RSI was above 70. We've retraced back below that. So we're, I think, maybe 66, 67 as of today or sometime today. Um, near term towards the overbought area, but um, still in a very good position for uh, higher prices ahead. All right, Paul, I want to get your thoughts on this, especially since uh, at Bespoke, you're, you're the chart master. Um, or at least you, you put our Mike Santoli, uh, you, you give him a run for his money with some of the charts you put out. What, what are you seeing right now, especially as we do see an S&P settling down about half a percent right now, 43.65? Well, no one gives Mike Santoli a run for his money. So let's just get that, uh, uh, you know, behind us. But <laughs> echoing what Sahak was saying, uh, I think what you've seen is you've seen a very overbought market, market here, especially in the face of what you saw is, any number of reasons why the market should have gone down and it didn't go down. So that's really important. Uh, the market was bucking the trend of the conventional wisdom. Uh, you can measure levels of short-term overbought in many different ways. One way we look at is just standard deviations above the 50-day moving average. We were the highest above the 50-day moving average measured in those terms since 2004, right after uh, the second George Bush got reelected. Uh, so that, that's a long time ago. Um, and what you tend to see during these periods is short-term returns can be mixed as the market either pulls back a little bit or just pauses. You can have corrections in time or price. But when you've seen these really big upward thrusts in the market, what you have seen is longer term going out six, 12 months, you've seen better than average returns. So, I mean, I think, uh, you know, we're flat now over the last week in the market. So we're sort of digesting these gains. Hmm. But over the, you know, over the long term, this strong demand for stocks is an encouraging signal. OK, well, so, Sahak, if, if we're lucky enough at home or smart enough to have been invested over the period up to now, I guess the question is, what do you do next? So how should we think about international exposure in this market, whether it's from U.S.-based multinationals that might have exposure in certain geographies or even from companies that are based, say, in China or in India? Yeah, good question, John. I think for international exposure, any of our multinationals that have uh, exposure overseas, those should start to perform a little bit better. We've seen the dollar index abate. Uh, significantly since last summer. We were, I don't know, 115-ish to about 103, 104 area today. So our multinationals should act better, should trade better, and those should start to show up in Q2 earnings and, and, and so forth going forward. Uh, aside from international stocks, I think really the, the playbook, if you will, into the second half of the year will be more about small caps and um, some equal weight S&P as opposed to the leaders that we've seen the first half of the year.